Hi guys, so my friend Mikey called. He told me Jack would late to the party. I'm like, Mikey, what party are we talking about right now? He told me Ark Invest. Do you know about Ark Invest? I told him, of course I know about Ark Invest. Who the f doesn't know about Ark Invest? We're talking about Katie Wood right now, the oracle of Ark Invest. So he says, hold up, did you ever hear about Aqua Bounty? I told the guy, I know about Aqua Booties, but I can also know about Aqua Bounty. So I'm doing this analysis right now. Let's jump in. So basically 30 years ago, Aquabani started to genetically modify salmon so it would grow mature in one and a half years instead of three years. They also made the salmon infertile to prevent an ecosystem disaster in case someone like Dr. Fauci would want to start COVID-19, but this time for fish. So basically it's the same salmon we all eat, it just grows faster. So why would you buy stock of Aquabani? First of all, Aquabani has a pretty straightforward business model and it's a very scalable business in a growing industry. When I look at myself, I'm eating way more salmon compared to my broke days when I was in juvie. Not only that, but the demand worldwide has been growing and their economies are growing and the fish consumption is also growing. This article just confirms what I just said. The FAO of the UN predicts that the world's population will reach 9.7 billion by 2050 and the demand for food is set to increase by 50%. Fish particularly farmed salmon can offer one solution to meeting this increased demand. As demand increases there will no doubt be increased pressure on the already overexploited wild fish reserves. Next up we also know that Aquabounty has a lot of patents on genetically modified salmon which grow quicker and cost less to produce. They are also disease-free, antibiotic-free salmon. The North American market for salmon has reached over 500,000 tons annually and that has consistently been growing over the years. Institutions and insiders have been buying heavily over the last few months. The stock has performed extremely well so far and has a lot more room to move up. Atlantic salmon grows best in the temperature range from 8 degrees Celsius to 14 degrees Celsius, yet Norway, the world's largest producer, experienced maximum coastal seawater temperatures higher than 14 degrees Celsius in June, July, August and September 2018. The situation is only likely to get worse as the effects of global warming increase, experts say. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change forecasts increases in seawater temperature of 1.6 degrees Celsius between 2000 and 2050 for Norway and Scotland and 1.1 degrees Celsius for Chile. This all is very beneficial for aqua bounty in the near future. Now something even more important than everything we just talked about, the balance sheet, the financials of aqua bounty. We can definitely see on their balance sheet that they have big money, 200 million laying around just to be used. And what are they going to do with the 200 million they have? Well, they just announced that they will be building a big farm in Ohio that will have eight times the capacity of growing more salmon compared to their current salmon farms. That 200 million in the bank will be used nicely for this. But guys, the most important factor is being forgotten right now, or it's being overlooked, should I say. Hedge funds, private equity firms, Investment banks, they have always been buying at around $6, $7, $8 range. The price is right now at $5. It's a steal. Anything below $5 is a steal. Even $5 is very good right now. Just look at it. Look at all these banks. They have been buying at these averages. I do see the company growing to a minimum of $1.5 billion. It's just going to happen because of the scalability and the innovative edge that Aqua Bounty has. So now you know about my hidden gem Aqua Bounty. I hope you liked the video. Go hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel because I know you liked it. And I want to end the video with a quote from the intelligent investor Benjamin Graham where he says successful investing is about managing risk not avoiding it.